Good morning, YouTube. Brian here with Guns Off with Tim Reloading. I'm gonna have some coffee. Mmm. Well, this is my first video in a while. Uh, had a my wife had our baby, so that's why I haven't really put out any videos the last month and a half, two months. I've been extremely busy. So I thought I'd come to you today, this morning. This morning for me. And we're gonna talk about something fun. A new toy. The RCBS Charge Master. Now, a lot of you guys are probably say, man, Brian, come on. We've had these for years. Well, you know what? This is my first one. So, what I'm basically going to do today is we're just going to unbox this, look it over, we're going to reprogram it, do the McDonald's draw trick. Uh, I'd like to thank 8541 Tactical for all the information they put on this. Uh, when we get into the programming, you know, there's a million videos out there already, but you know what? I just thought, why not share it with you guys? Because it's awesome. So, I gotta figure out how to open this box because, you know, all this new high fan dangled packaging. So, anyway, looks like we got a power supply, instructions, and a uh, brush. Cool plastic stuff. And I feel like the crocodile hunter right now, you know? Old Steve with oh, isn't she a beauty? <laughs> Never mind. It's early, guys. I'm sorry. I'm tired. So we got the actual charge master. The uh, powder thingamajigger. And a uh, pretty much empty box. So we're going to go ahead and put all this to the side. Now, like I said, there's a million videos on YouTube on this stuff, so... I'm not going to sit here and go through everything, but, uh, you know, pretty much we're going to look this over, we'll do, you know, I'm not going to sit here and uh, weigh out charges for you because, like I said, there's a million videos out there where you can watch guys who time it to see, you know, how much faster the programming is or all that. So basically that's already old information. We know it works and we just want this one to be as fast and as accurate as all the other ones so that's what we're gonna do so anyway but uh, so while I'm unpacking this you know let me just tell you what's been going on you know my wife had a kid and everything's been good I've uh, been modifying some stuff got into some new little hobbies actually it's gonna be an upcoming video we're gonna talk about uh, and uh, going to be looking at a lot of really, really neat stuff. So here's your scale, a uh, little weights for calibrating, all that good stuff. My GoPro is yelling at me over here. So let's just go ahead, turn that around, show that to you. Look at that. Isn't she gorgeous? And I know some of you are probably going, well, Brian, why didn't you just get the brand new one? Well, I wanted to get the Charge Master Lite. Uh, from what I've heard, you know, with the Charge Master Lite, they fixed a lot of the stuff uh, that uh, this model had issues with. They fixed the, the feeding tube and the calibration and stuff like that. But, uh, you know what, this one's tried and true. I like tried and true. Hmm, I've got plastic in my mouth somewhere Ugh. anyway Ugh. God. Ugh. so anyway I like tried and true I would like to try the other one um, the only thing that kind of makes me nervous about the new one and you know it could just be whatever is the fact that it has that new touch screen uh, sometimes touch screens can go bad fast dirt than these and like I said this has been around for a while this is a workhorse a lot of guys I know use these I've been wanting one forever for doing load development, so anyway. Alright, so let me get this plugged in. And we'll go through calibration and programming. So here it is, the Charge Master. It is plugged in. Uh, it's been sitting here for, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes or so. And uh, let me get another sip of coffee here real quick. We're just going to go ahead and program it. Real quick, I'm just going to show you how to do that. Again, I'd like to thank uh, 8541 Tactical. He's got a great YouTube channel. 
and uh, that's where I got all this information as far as the programming. So, like he says in his videos, and I really suggest you watch it because he's going to go, he goes way more in depth than I am. There's only a couple things we're really wanting to modify here, and that is from the full speed to high speed where that's set. Uh, we want we want that to go uh, go from full speed to high speed. We want that to change a little more, and then from high speed to slow speed and slow speed to trickle. So we're really only going to change really two settings in this machine. We're only going to change two parts of the programming. You can change more if you want to, but for me and what I need this to do, this is from what I have researched, going to be the best and easiest thing. So to get into programming. You're just going to hit enter and edit memory, these two buttons right here, at the same time. And when you do, that changes to adjust parameter. Okay, so the first one we want to change is that A1. So you see how it's at 1568. So basically what that's saying is, it's going to go from its highest speed, or full speed to high speed, and it's going to change over at 15.68 grains. So what we want to do, and the, from what everybody is saying, is we want to change that to 10.00, and then you're going to hit enter. Okay, so now this next one, which is the, the parameter is the HSP B1. Okay, so that one is saying, okay, so from high speed to low speed, we're going to go at 342, so we want to change that over to... 2.00 enter and C1 and so it's going to go from slow to trickle HSP C1 at 1.08 which they say go ahead and leave that as is and so you're just going to hit enter and you're just going to sit here and hit enter until the machine reboots which there's a lot of things you can go in here and program okay so there we go so now we got to reboot boom okay so we've reprogrammed it now and it's hard to see the screen on this so i'm sorry guys but it's basically saying zero zero so now what we want to do is we want to go ahead and do the straw technique so what you're gonna do you're gonna open this up go get you a mcdonald's straw all right support your local mcdonald's before you steal a straw from them of course it's not stealing if you go and buy yourself an ice cream cone or a sundae and take about 10 straws no uh, <laughs> not that i would ever do that anyway i don't eat there so you're going to cut off about a uh, one inch piece ish or so and see, now you can just take this straw, throw it in your RCBS box, and in case you ever need to swap it out, you can. So, we're going to take about a one inch piece, and you want to stick it in there, and just slide it in there, and leave just a little bit hanging out. I mean, some guys push it in all the way. I'm going to leave a little bit hanging out in case I ever want to pull it back out. You know, I can grab it without having to go get my dental picks and all that good stuff. So, and then that's all there is to breaking your RCBS Charge Master. Okay, so I'm guessing. See, leave it to Guns Optics and Reloading to show you how not to do something. Anyway, so that's how you put the straw in there. So anyways, that's how you program the RCBS Charge Master 1500. Uh, now we've got the straw trick in there, we've got the reprogramming, so now we're ready to go and this thing should be awesome. Alright guys, so that's the RCBS Charge Master 1500, how to program it, how to do the straw trick, and get it working really quick. Uh, you know, like I said, there's a million videos out there already that show you you know time lapse and how it how well much better it charges so i'm not going to waste your time doing that these two little things are the things that get this thing running the best so that's all you really need to know if you want more research i suggest 8541 tacticals video they show you some really good stuff there's another uh 
couple YouTube videos, I don't have their names right now, that go into more in-depth programming. Like I said, that's not what I need to do. I just want this thing to be more accurate and work. And the straw trick really does a good job all by itself. Because of how the powders stick to the inside of the tube, uh, the, the, the straw makes it smooth so that they don't get clumped up at the end. So when it's trying to trickle, you got big globs falling out. It'll slide out a lot better. And that's pretty much why the straw trick works so well. From what I hear, they've really upgraded that with the new Charge Master, um, but I don't have one to play with. So if anybody wants to send me one to do a review on a test, hey, I'm all for it. Anyways, I'd really like to thank you guys for sticking with me through this, uh, you know, a little bit of a delay of me getting some videos out. I apologize for that. I've got some more coming out real soon. Uh, if you like my channel, click the subscribe button. Click the little bell button down there and get some notifications so that if when I get new videos out, you'll get, you'll get them first. So have a great day, and we'll get another video out here real soon.